everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I'm standing right here with Super Curio. Say hi. hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. We just came from the T-Mobile store, as seen right there, and he just got his own Galaxy Note 2. This is mine. I got this from T-Mobile just a few days ago. Hold yours up. Show it. Show that camera. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some screen tests to see exactly how the color rendering is, what the black point is, and if there's any clipping in any of the colors or the blacks. So let's go check it out. So for the event of Halloween and color testing our screens, I've dyed my hair a lovely orange. And blue. Sweet. You know, like candy is sweet because it's hot. Ah, yeah. Okay. So we have three displays here. This, these two are the Galaxy Note 2. This is Francois's Galaxy Note 2. This is mine. And we have here the Galaxy S3. What we're going to do is talk about the shadows. First, what you are seeing here are three different screens that are displaying going from gray all the way down to black. That's representing your shadows. So what you should be seeing here is just a perfect gray going all the way down to black in stages. The problem is if you look at my screen here, it has the green channels just a little bit too bright so you're seeing it favoring green. And on this side, you're the red channel is just a little bit too red so it's favoring red. That's happening in the factory as they're having different bits of calibration problems and they're not making it uniform. So that's what you end up seeing is these different variations. Now on the Galaxy S3 here, you can see that you can't see going from the gray color all the way down to black. It ends up actually clipping at 8, whereas you can see on these ones it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then you can see that 0 is entirely blacked out. That means that these displays have no black clipping, which is actually pretty awesome. Before continuing on with our color adventures, Francois and I noticed something a bit odd with the Galaxy Note 2 displays. Here we have two Galaxy Note displays that are showing two pure black images. Now if you've ever been deceived by Super AMOLED panels thinking that when you are looking at black colors that all the pixels are off, you should not have to think that anymore because you can see the color channels are actually leaking. On my side, which is the left hand side, that's my Galaxy Note 2, it looks quite all right. There seems to be an equal amount of blue, green, and red pixels showing, although there is a little tint of green here and there in my display. Now on the right hand side is Francois's display. As you can see, there is a lot of red leaking. So that's clearly not black. Now keep in mind that we did have a camera that was set at a very, very, very low shutter speed and at at an eight second exposure time. So you can truly see the photons that are leaking from these displays. And I had wondered while looking at Francois's display, is it because those red pixels are leaking that the red channel seems to be just a bit too bright? Is it a limitation of the hardware? Is it a calibration issue? So there's definitely an issue with the variations in the black point on these displays. I don't know right now if it's a hardware issue or if it's a calibration issue and they're just not reading back the correct data and calibrating it appropriately, but we shall know sometime soon. Even though Samsung has fixed the black clipping effect, the Galaxy Note 2 still is not perfect, especially in regards to shadows. I showed you that when looking at this image here, you go from 21, which is a perfect gray color, all the way down to zero, which is your black. It is composed of a red, blue, and green channel. All those together make up what you are seeing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the red channel. You can see a little bit of uneven banding that occurs, which each of these is not entirely smooth like it should be. It should be going in a very smooth gradient downward. This is very dark. It's hard to pick up on camera here, but at three and two, they're very dark and then it clips at one zero. So one is not visible at all. Even though the red channel clips a little bit, there still is no black clipping in the overall image because you still have the green and the blue channels to compensate. So in a particular shadow where the red clips to black, you will still have the blue and the green. So you just won't see any red combined in that shadow. It's probably good to note that if you get a red channel only shadow in the dark gradient, it will clip black. I've seen this same behavior in two Galaxy Note 2s. Please let me know if you have any other types of variations. I'm very curious to hear if you have different variations in those channels or with any types of black clipping. The interesting thing about Samsung's display is that as you turn down the brightness, the color channels seem to lose their ability to display that particular color in the gradient. If you can see down here, it goes 7654. When I turn down the brightness, it starts to look more and more green. So it's losing its ability to show red. In this situation, the green channel seems to be all right. 
But the same thing goes for the blue. Once it starts getting to the lower end of the gradient, it starts to look almost entirely green until it hits that black. Since we don't have an even gradient in the color channels for the shadows, and also since when you change the brightness of the display, the colors lose their ability to show that particular color in the channel, when you turn up and down the brightness in a video, you start to get different behaviors in the shadows depending on the brightness of the screen. Now check out the bridge of his nose and also underneath his left eyelid. It looks very black. There's some really weird banding going on that kind of looks like clipping. When I start to turn up the brightness, the shadow seems to be more full again. When I start turning it down, it starts to do all kinds of strange things depending on the brightness. Look at that. As I am sliding the brightness up and down, you can see that the shadow, especially along the bridge of his nose, really changes depending on where the brightness of the display is. When watching a lot of dark scenes with a lot of shadows, this display ultimately looks its best when you have the brightness at its maximum. Now check out this frame in particular. If you can see that the red gradient is having some trouble here, there's some red splotchiness. Also check out the blue in Harry's jacket. Now once you turn down the brightness in this display, you can see the weird problems in the channel gradients. Watch this. Now it's all green! You can see in the brighter places that Harry's collar is blue, but this looks green entirely, as does his face. Once you turn that brightness back up, you get a really nice definition with the colors. The shadows don't clip at any point, but what you're just losing is, is the colors. But still, compared to the Galaxy S3, it does much, much better. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Galaxy S3 for you. We're going to show you some black clipping and how this actually does much better with both the colors and the clipping. So you've already seen that in terms of black clipping, the Galaxy Note 2 is so much better. As you can see, the 87654321 is just fine. Now on the Galaxy S3 here, yes, there is clipping. So let's go ahead and show you what the color channels look like as well. They are just much, much, well, worse on the Galaxy S3 than what you have on the Galaxy Note 2. Let's go ahead and find a red channel. Look how early here you start to have trouble with the gradient not being able to display red as you're going downward in that gradient to black. Once you hit 8 again, it, it clips entirely. But before that, you have no definition in color at all once it starts getting to the darker colors. Everything just looks pretty much black. Here we have the green channel. Same thing with the green channel. And also the same thing with the blue channel. So Samsung has made quite a bit of improvements. So here we have both the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 to maximum brightness. So go ahead and feast your eyes on the nice difference that Samsung has improved with the black clipping. Look how dark. Very, very contrasty. Too contrasty. You can't really make out anything at all in the Galaxy S3. In lighter scenes, it looks quite nice, and the richer blacks look nice as well. Maybe it looks just as a style to some, but as soon as you get into darker scenes, it's a shame to not be able to see so much like you can on the Galaxy Note 2. Here's the exact same frame as before. You can see that there really is no shadows that you can make out at all. It's just black. At least you can here when it's at maximum brightness, especially the colors look pretty good. As soon as you start turning it down, you're still not clipping in any of the shadows. You're just losing the definition with the colors. So not too bad, Samsung. You have done a lot of improvements and I approve. So thank you everyone for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter, which is at I am underscore Erica. Also follow me on Facebook and Google Plus, which you can get to from my main channel page. Woohoo, Galaxy Note 2 rocks. It's a lot better right now than the Galaxy S3. Ah!